Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll discuss the various safety features of the Mini 4 Pro and show how to set these options in DJI Fly. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. We'll look at the Safety tab. To access and modify the safety features of the DJI Mini 4 Pro, you'll need to be in the Safety tab to make the necessary adjustments. To access the Safety tab, both the Mini 4 Pro and DJI RC2 or RCN2 will need to be powered on and connected to the DJI Fly app. Now go into the Fly app menu or options in the Camera View screen by tapping the three dots in the upper left-hand corner. You'll want to be in the Safety tab. If you're in another tab, simply press the Safety tab. The first area that we'll be looking at is the Flight Assistance options. These include Obstacle Avoidance actions, Bypass actions, and Displaying Radar Map. Now regarding the Obstacle Avoidance action, this is broken into three separate options and determines the behavior of the Mini 4 Pro when obstacles are detected. Before flying, you'll want to define what the Mini 4 Pro will do once it approaches an obstacle. The available actions are Bypass. When enabled in controlling the Mini 4 Pro, the Mini 4 Pro will automatically go around detectable obstacles. If there is no available way to do so, then the Mini 4 Pro will then hover until action can be taken by you. Brake. When the brake action is enabled, the Mini 4 Pro will automatically stop and hover when encountering obstacles. You'll then be able to determine the best course of action to take. Then there's Off. This, of course, turns off all obstacle avoidance systems. With this action, the Mini 4 Pro can run into obstacles in the environment. Some drone pilots, like myself, do use this option when flying in tight spaces. Now, for the bypass actions. These dictate how the Mini 4 Pro behaves when bypassing obstacles. We have normal. The Mini 4 Pro will look for obstacles and objects before reaching them, staying a safe distance from them. Then there's nifty. This is sort of like cine mode for the bypass action. When enabled, the Mini 4 Pro will avoid obstacles with more laid back and smooth movements. However, this bypass option has a higher chance of colliding with obstacles. Display Radar Map The radar map, which can be toggled on and off, is an on-screen aid used to quickly alert you to how close the Mini 4 Pro is to objects. This is done through the use of colors, orange or red, depending on how close the drone is to an object. When close to an object, the radar turns orange and gradually turns to red as the Mini 4 Pro flies dangerously close to the object. The radar map is particularly useful for those who turn off all obstacle avoidance and fly close to objects in the environment, or fly through tight areas and spaces. At the bare minimum, the radar map will give a visual warning of obstacles. We'll now look a little bit at RTH or Return to Home. RTH, or Return to Home, will return the Mini 4 Pro to the recorded home point without any additional input from you. In this section, you'll want to set the options for Advanced RTH. Regarding Advanced RTH, there are two settings available for it. These RTH settings are Optimal and Preset. When in Optimal Advanced RTH, the Mini 4 Pro plans the best route for it to get home, regardless of any RTH height options that were previously input. It'll adjust its height to get above, below, or even around any type of obstacle or interference signal in the area that could disrupt a successful RTH. With the optimal setting chosen, the Mini 4 Pro will use the straightest and most direct route to return to home to save on battery power increasing the amount of time the Mini 4 Pro can fly. This might even possibly save the Mini 4 Pro if the batteries are low. Now if it's too dark for the Mini 4 Pro's vision sensors, then the Mini 4 Pro will default to a variation of preset mode with 
preset altitude options. And we'll look at that. Preset advanced RTH. Now in this mode, the Mini 4 Pro will return home at the preset height. As a rule of thumb, I set my auto return to home altitude to 30 feet or so above the highest obstacle wherever I might be flying for the day. If the Mini 4 Pro is in optimal advanced RTH when the lighting conditions are too poor for the Mini Pro 4's vision system to actually see its way home, then the auto RTH height will be used. We'll now look at auto RTH altitude. The Auto RTH Altitude is an essential option to set, and the reason is that, in the event of an emergency, you'll want the Mini 4 Pro to have sufficient height when returning home. As a rule of thumb, setting your return to home height a fair bit higher than the tallest obstruction in your area is always good. There are those, though, that simply set their RTH Altitude to the maximum flight ceiling in the United States, which is 400 feet, and they just go. Now this can be dangerous if the Mini 4 Pro is returning home and there's a low-flying aircraft in the vicinity. We'll now look at updating the home point. Updating the home point allows you to change your home point from where it was automatically set in the DJI Fly app upon acquiring a GPS signal and setting it where you want it. This is especially useful if you find yourself moving from one location to another rapidly while flying, perhaps when on a boat or another moving object. The home point can only be moved once the drone is in the air and has a full GPS lock. To update the home point while in the air, press the arrow to the right of Update Home Point. A map of your immediate location will populate the center of the screen. Drag the screen until the yellow H moves to your new desired home point location. When done, simply press OK and the new home point will be updated. If you'd like to set the home point back to where it was, then do the previous step in reverse. You can also set the home point to be where the remote controller is currently located. One scenario for this would be when covering areas rapidly while in a vehicle or on a boat. To update the home point to the remote controller, while in the update home point map, tap the remote controller icon. The home point will then be set to the exact location where the RC is currently. Now we'll go into AR or augmented reality settings. The Mini 4 Pro benefits from the inclusion of AR, displaying on-screen overlays to assist with home point identification and return to home functions. With Show AR Home Point Options On, you'll see a virtual H on the Live View screen or Camera View screen representing the Mini 4 Pro Home Point, which can be seen in all of the map views. With the Show AR Return to Home Route options enabled, there is a green path showing what route the Mini 4 Pro will take to return to home, or RTH. Lastly, when landing, there's also a virtual Mini 4 Pro shadow on screen showing where the Mini 4 Pro will exactly land. This is called Show AR Aircraft Shadow. Looking at the flight protection area. This section is used to define how far and high the Mini 4 Pro will fly at any given time. Although our intention may be to stay within the confines of the law when in flight, this might be difficult to maintain. First, we'll look at max altitude. If you're in the United States, because it's illegal to fly over 400 feet, you may choose to set the max altitude to anything under 400 feet. If you're in a country that regulates the maximum altitude that you can fly, likewise you'll want to set that number here. Additionally, you can also set the maximum distance. If you are concerned about flying too far out, you can set the value to any number you'd like. If distance isn't a concern, this can be set to no limit. Moving on to the advanced safety settings. These determine how the Mini 4 Pro behaves when the Mini 4 Pro disconnects from the remote controller. Disconnects can occur due to variants in the environment, such as tall trees, mountains, canyons, or even signal interference and loss 
due to buildings. The signal loss options are as follows. Hover, the Mini 4 Pro will stay in one place until it receives input from you. You may have to go to the location of the Mini 4 Pro to regain a connection. Descend, the Mini 4 Pro will descend and land even if the signal was lost over water. In RTH, the Mini 4 Pro will return to the home point regardless of the surroundings. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.